In this problem, we're going to work with an algebraic process to solve exponential equations. The equation we're given is 3 to the x equals 25. Let's follow the steps on the right-hand side of the table. The first step is to isolate the exponential part of the equation. 3 to the x is the exponential part. The exponential part is isolated if there's nothing multiplied by it or added to it. So we are done for step 1. For step two, we're going to change the equation to logarithmic form. So we're going to use that translation process going back and forth from exponential form now to logarithmic form to complete this step. If we do that, we get log base 3 of 25 equals x. And notice how the x came out of the exponent now and came down to the main part of the equation. Now we can actually actually we have isolated x, that doesn't always happen so nicely, but now we know what x is. x is log base 3 of 25, so step 3 to isolate the variable, this part is also done. If there were things added to x or multiplied by it, we'd have to work with those, but in this problem it just popped right out. So step four says to identify the final result in exact form, then in rounded form as indicated by the problem. Exact form is what we found as a result in step two, so I can just rewrite it here. To find the rounded form, I'm going to have to change log base 3 of 25 using change of base, and then I'll use my calculator to compute and then round. So I, if I use the change of base, I can rewrite log base 3 of 25 as log 25 divided by log 3. If I compute that fraction on my calculator, I should get 2.930. We're going to check the result by graphing using the intersection method with the original problem. So let's go to our calculator and put in for y1, let's put 3 to the x, and for y2, we're going to put 25. So as always, we want to check our window. In this case, for our input, let's use negative 10 to 10. This is not a real world problem, so we could have potentially negative values for input. For output, it's an exponential function. We have a horizontal asymptote of the x-axis. So let's take y min of 0, y max of 30, and graph and see what we've got. So there's our exponential. There's the y equals 25. Let's do second calc number 5, which is the intersect method. And we're going to be hitting enter three times to verify the result. 2.9. 3, 0, if I round that appropriately to three decimals. So by checking using the graphing method, we've verified the solution. In your uh, paper, what you write down, go ahead and make a good graph here, put that in this space, and identify the intersection, and uh, go ahead and label the ordered pair. So we now have a process for solving exponential equations algebraically.